I'm Mike Hinderleiter with PowerWash.com and today's spray tip, we're going to talk about how to adjust your pressure downward on your machine. One of the first things I want to point out is you never want to adjust your pressure downward by adjusting the unloader. That's not the purpose of an unloader. An unloader is intended for you to have a trigger gun on your machine to put it into bypass when you let off the trigger. If you start to adjust that unloader, you're going to create wear and tear, undo wear and tear on your unloader and you could possibly create a spike in pressure that would be so high that it could damage the equipment or damage someone. And you never want to adjust an unloader without having a test gauge so that you know you're doing it properly. We have another video on how to adjust an unloader. Watch that if you want to. But today's spray tip is how to adjust pressure downward. First thing you want to do when you do that is you need to know the pressure and gallons per minute of your machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to a nozzle chart inside the powerwash.com catalog. If you don't have a catalog, call us, we'll send you one, or you can find the nozzle chart on our website. This particular machine does 4,000 PSI at four gallons a minute. On the nozzle chart, here in yellow, is the PSI. So I'm gonna to go to 4,000 PSI, which is on this chart, the far right. I'm gonna follow it down until I hit four, four gallons per minute the GPMs are in blue, so 4,000 down to four gallons a minute. Follow that across to, to the green section, and that tells me my nozzle size, which is a nozzle size of four. So 1,000 PSI, or I'm sorry, 4,000 PSI at four gallons a minute is the number four nozzle. That's unusual, it doesn't always work out, 444. But in this particular case, it does. What I want to do with this machine is I want to drop it to 1,000 PSI. So in this case, I follow the nozzle chart over to 1,000 PSI. I'm going to follow it down until I hit four gallons a minute at 1,000 PSI, and then I'm going to follow it across, and I'm going to get a size eight nozzle. So I'm going to test a size eight nozzle. So I'm going to fire it up, and we're going to see how that does. So right now I've got my size, my size four nozzle in. When I pull the trigger, I got 4,000 PSI. I'm gonna release my trigger and put in a size eight nozzle. Let's see. I got around 1,300 PSI. What that tells you is there are certain mechanical things and functions of the power washer that aren't always exact. And every machine's a little different. So since I got 1,300 PSI, now I'm gonna go to eight and a half, an 8.5 nozzle. And by the way, these are 40 degree nozzle white tips. Now I'm running 1,200 PSI, thanks to the train in the background. <laughs> I have 1,200 PSI. Now we're gonna jump up to size nine nozzle, see what that does. There we go, looks like I'm running 1,000. 50 PSI with the size 9 nozzle. I got the pressure I want. And I'm going to show you when I pull the trigger, you see that slight burst in pressure. That's because I'm using a pressure trapping unloader. If I had longer hose on here, I'd get a stronger kickback too because all that pressure is trapped in all that length of hose until it drops down. So again, keep in mind, when you want to drop pressure on a machine, change out the nozzle size. You want to go bigger nozzles. Never adjust the unloader. I'm Mike Hinderleiter with PowerWash.com. That's today's spray tip. Don't be afraid to get dirty when you're power washing. Have a safe and successful day. When I grow up, I want to be a power washer just like my daddy. <laughs>